Yeah, on holes that are gettable. Other players are making birdies and better on those holes. One and three to John Catlin, twice a winner last season on the European Tour. The man from Sacramento in California, all wrapped up and holding a nice one there at the third to move to eight under. Catlin has gone in close to the hole here with his third, so should be a formality for his second birdie of the day. Second in a row. Catlin to nine under. 161. Multiple winner Catlin here. Cheeky little front pin. Certainly one you can have a go at. A little bit of a false front. Passing it to get up. Oh, huge bounce. Very nearly pitched it in the hole. Part of the green here is quite flat. It's not overly quick. Got a feeling there's some good chances out here today. You might see one or two make a run at it. It looks cold again, Anthony, but not not a great deal of breeze. No, no breeze. It's beautiful conditions, really, yeah. considering it is cold. John Catlin then. At the sixth for a birdie. Right to left breaker, and beautifully done by Catlin. Three birdies in four holes takes him to ten under par, chasing down Kiefer. Well, he's very methodical, Catlin. But it seems to work. He's won five or six times in Asia on their development tour and the main tour. A couple of times out here already. Straight at it. Yeah, just seeing evidence of that little bit of contour there. That flag's cut up on a little plateau, so anything not on that plateau will feed away. Three birdies in his last four. So he's feeling it on the greens today. Not on that occasion, but good judgment of pace. Don mentioned his win in Ireland last year. That was a 64 in the final round coming from behind, so... Second shot on its way. Look at that, another iron shot. Tell you what, Tim, he... he, he Knocks it down the throat of the flag, doesn't he? He does. I think he's a very dangerous character, Catelyn. I really do. I felt it all week. Every chance if he takes the break out of it, just power it in the hole. Believable stuff. It really is. Four under through his last six holes. Hearing from the course, he's in a bit of an old divot. 204 yards to go. Trying to fade the ball. It's against his natural slight draw as we often see when players favor right to left flight and try and move it left to right they don't quite manage it interesting Catlin is out with the wedge oh, beautifully played but still seven or eight feet to save his part A soft grip, let the head do its job. John Catlin, second shot to 10. Beautiful tee shot right to the elbow of the dog leg. Flag cut as we've seen in the back left corner of this green. Put a contour around it that can help you draw the ball towards the hole, but if you miss it, it can leave some awkward putting. He's fired straight at it, just half a club too much. Tough putt here, guys. Not been rewarded with going for this flag. It feels like it's right to left, but I don't think it is overall. His pace has been terrific on the greens. It's left nothing short. Everything reaches the hole or runs the standard sort of foot past the hole, which the players seem to be looking for. Four hundred and thirty seven yard par four. Yeah. Penalty area down the left. One bunker to the right of the green. The Catlin here. Back pin. Fourth day in a row. A little bit of a surprise. That might be why there's only been a couple of birdies here. A couple of pitch marks, about four for the head. It's almost like a goal post. 
Well, this go. lad can putt. He's quite incredible. To within one of the lead now. Fifth birdie of the day. No drop shots. Ball should go left, really, off such a severe slope. Yes, the club face of such a lofted club actually looks to the left when you're on a slope like that with the ball above your feet quite significantly, and he's judged it absolutely beautifully. What Aware a shot of that the is. down slope that Anthony was talking about, yeah. Brilliant shot. Beautifully worked out and executed. Well, that is a rarity indeed, particularly today. He's putted beautifully. Looked like a pull, didn't really look like a misery. Just looked like he set it off left of the hole. 229, the weaker of his two driving irons here. Catlin at 14. Pretty central, this pin. So you get it running, you can get it close. That's pretty decent. Pretty obvious it's up the hill right to left for him. So he can have a go at it. Three, still a good score. Pretty demanding par three. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. He thought it was actually in the penalty hour. He asked me where it was. So he'd be feeling quite relieved at this point. Okay, another example of his great touch around the greens. Nicely nudged it under the hole here, so this isn't too difficult. All about pace. Nicely done. Incredible stuff. He's holds some beautiful putts today. Going to be seven iron. It is pretty cold. It's a good one, I would have thought, considering. It is another excellent shot into this 18th green for John Catlin. Just couldn't get a nicer pun on what is a slopey green. Well, that is a surprise. He has putted beautifully. And that's a missed opportunity, no doubt about it. It's a closing 65. It's bogey free for John Catlin means that we are heading into a playoff. It's going to be Germany against the United States, Kiefer and Catlin. So, extra hole number five. In the same bunker, and a lot easier shot than the last time around. Sound a little thin. We did wonder if a mistake was going to settle this. I'm pretty sure, let's see if we can see the ripples, that that is in the water. Oh, back in again. And that, I'm afraid, is almost certainly going to be that. Two visits to the water at this fifth extra hole for Max Kiefer. Tell you what, that will go back in as well. I can see how Thomas Dietrich took an eight here now. He's got a few for it. And John Catlin does secure the victory with a four at the fifth extra hole to collect his third European Tour title in the space of just 13 starts. <laughs> um, you know, it's always nice to win. Uh, it's it's always tough to watch that happen. You know, we're we're out here we're out here giving it our all. Um, you know, he's he's obviously a very very accomplished player and two of to have come out on top is uh, something I'll always cherish for sure. Very magnanimous of you. Uh, that bunker shot in the previous hole, can you talk me through that? Because I thought it was impossible. 
there was about a three foot wide gap and I landed it right in the middle of it. As, as, as soon as it landed, I'm like, that's, that's got a, you know, a chance to be pretty good. You never know how it's going to bounce through that rough. Um, but, you know, for it to come out like that and, you know, to make that par, that's probably one in, one in maybe a thousand. So it was nice to get it done. Winning seems to be easy for you. How, how do you do it? You started two behind today. Great 65. No bogeys today, even in the playoff. How do you do it? First off, I want to take this opportunity to thank my coach, Noah Montgomery. Um, it's, been, it's been a really long road. You know, 2015, 16 were tough seasons for me, and he stuck by me, kept, kept believing in me. We kept putting in the hours. And, uh, you know, it's, winning's never easy. It doesn't matter what tour you're playing on. And uh, so to have gotten this one is definitely something special. Yeah, nice words. And what about going forward? What are your ambitions for the rest of the season? Just keep winning. <laughs> That's a good ambition. No, I'd love to. I'd, I'd, I'd love to crack that top 50 in the world. Um, just get a chance to play and play in some more major championships. I've actually never, never actually played in a major. Um, I'm thinking this gives gives me a very good chance to play in the PGA Championship. That was kind of my goal. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's good enough. And uh, you know, to get into those events and have a chance to win a major. I mean, that's that's been my goal since I was a kid to win a major championship. So. Nice to have an opportunity. Enjoy the moment. Congratulations. Thank you very much. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.